Hello everyone and welcome to Watching Time. Today we're going to discuss very briefly, uh, and I hope you all like this uh, brief discussion, my update on my personal Zodiac collection. So for you, for the ones of you that follow our channel, you know we are more than one member in this channel uh, trying to express our passion and our point of views uh, between myself and my and my other colleague we both have almost every zodiac uh, for from the last 8 years in, in terms of at least the models that are represented in the collection so i'm i'm still missing a some of them uh, not much, uh, at least I'm missing a, a round cosmograph. So le let's look together briefly the, the point of my collection right now. The last time that I did this video, my collection was missing a couple of pieces, uh, three mainly, that I think have added very nicely. And as you can see, at least on this watch box, I, I still have two places. So I really hope that Zodiac come out with interesting models that can be added to the collection in order at least to complete the box. I, I don't want them to feel alone. So let's go briefly, very quickly. So we, we have here the Cosmograph, the square version. The square version, it's... Uh, I know, guys, some of you complain that I am not wearing gloves and I won't be cleaning, but this is my style. I don't want to make videos that are impersonal. And obviously some some of the times it, they need to be clean in order for it to be shining and more beautiful. So just to clarify that, uh, this is a beautiful watch. The measurement, it's actually small, but it wears up much bigger because of the high of the square case. Uh, and as you can see, it's very vintage. At the same time, it's a very nice, Cosmograph uh, that represents history in Zodiac watches. Not many watch producers do this type of floating minutes and hour hand. So here we have uh, one of the Jetomatics. It's a pilot watch, as you can see, a pointer crown, a stainless steel, very nice uh, bracelet, at least for this model, with an open back showing the STP movement. So I think that's a nice touch, at least. Uh, nice closure with the Zodiac logo and at the same time a very legible pilot uh, dial that reminds me kind of always also an exploring watch. This is one of my favorites, the Olympus limited edition uh, based on the military model. It's a slightly bigger than the other Olympus and, uh, and also presents the, the Arabic numbers around it which makes it have these military looks. It's actually based on a military watch uh, produced by Zodiac, uh, it's a, it was an Olympus military watch, uh, that some of the information is still missing, but they, they managed to find uh, some of the of the files. It comes with a double uh, bracelet, with this also brown leather bracelet, as you see. And I think it's a very nice watch that can actually be wear in many occasions. This is one of my newest additions. When I saw it the first time, I really fell in love with the the MAN Special Limited Edition uh, that presents itself, obviously, with the su it's Super Sea Wolf 68. So uh, the color that inspires the dial, which is actually the ocean, it's really beautiful. The, the changing from darker tones up to lighter tones that make it look with that kind of half-finished sunburst dial, like you are uh, seeing the reflection of the sun at the bottom of the sea. Uh, I think it's a quite nice touch. Also, it has a 12-hour marker in the shape of a shark fin, which I, I also think that's very nice. Uh, an oyster-style bracelet actually complements this watch, and it actually came with other two straps, uh, one uh, Tropic Blue and one uh, NATO uh, Velcro strap. Very nice uh, that can be worn, like the one that this watch, this Super Sea Wolf 68 is wearing at the moment. So this is also another limited edition. This is for the 50 years uh, of Zodiac. It's another Super Sea Wolf. Very nice uh, gray dial with orange markers. I really like it. And it also complements the design. So here we have a Sea Dragon. Uh, in the past, uh, Zodiac has produced several uh, watches that are uh, based on this kind of 70s shape. Uh, it was called differently in the past, and there are some quartz version also of this watch. This is the automatic one, 
and it's it's kind of vintage because of the look. At the same time, it has a nice style on it, and I think it's quite wearable. And it has a really nice, interesting touch in the links. And as you can see, they look uh, to be together, like they are like a, the wheels in a tank. And uh, it reminds me also of how the bracelet is constructed in the constellation line of Omega. So uh, I'm going to go through this. This is just a Super Sea Wolf. Very nice combination of color. Blue uh, with light uh, blue on the bezel. Uh, the strap is made of a fabric. Many people, uh, some people at least on the internet, has complained that it's uh, very hard to put this watch and to wear it because the fabric that they use was very hard. So for you guys that think um, this is a bad review, uh, actually it's totally the contrary. This is strap, it will move much uh, with much more ease if you start wearing it. Uh, it's just a matter to give it a little bit of time. Mine has become really soft. At the same time, it remains rigid to the pulse. So you can actually wear it on the wrist like it's a, like a bracelet it's very very nice and very unique compared to other watches i really love it and i think actually one of the main points of strength of this particular model is actually the strap it's not something to be taken off i will not be changing it and i really nice like this nice uh, blue strap that they have chosen for this one this is another one of my latest additions the sherbert as they are calling it a uh, Super Sea Wolf GMT. It's not anymore called like it was in the past. Uh, so the name is it's gone back to its roots. It's a Super Sea Wolf, uh, not an aerospace. It's a GMT. Obviously, it has the same uh, characteristics in terms of diving of a Super Sea Wolf, but at the same time, it presents itself in this uh, new color for 2020. We, they were calling it Sherber because of the orange. But as you can see, the bezel is bicolor. You have the orange and the white with blue markers. You have the hour indexes made in a stainless steel. And then you have the, the orange dots. They are actually Luminova. They are orange luminum uh, material. You have the GMT hand that at the moment it's hidden behind. I'm just going to open it for you guys, for you to see the GMT hand, which is the classic GMT hand of a Zodiac that remains like a small stick. In this case, it's an orange stick. You have then the hour and the minutes hands and the classic second square hand. And, uh, and all of them are Luminova color blue. And you also have the dot here, uh, the pip, the small pip that is also lume. So this is a very, very nice watch. I really like the color. You probably cannot see it in the video very well, but actually the dial is it's not really white, it's more of an off-white. So it, it kind of gives you this kind of creamy uh, to the dial. And I think it's this is one of the best launches of 2020 in terms of color. Here you have uh, one that is actually white. So you can actually see the difference between the whites. Uh, and there you see it. It's pretty clear. One is white, the other one is cream. So hence oh, a little bit more of the sherbet. Uh, so this is a Super Sea Wolf with the, a different dial. You have the Arabic numerals. Uh, I think this is also very nice with the Velcro strap. It's a very nice point of blue. It's a nice summer use watch that you can actually wear. And it complements a lot uh, some styles that you can use it. And here, last but not least, this is the last one arrived to my collection. And I'm really, really happy to have managed to get one of these. This has been producing only 82. I have a specific video if you're interested on this. This is a Zodiac Super Sea Wolf. I call it Avocado. <laughs> uh, and I'm calling it Avocado because of the type of green and the interior that looks kind of the, you know, the seat inside. and. And it's really, really nice. This is a limited edition produced only for one house. Uh, it's called Grimaldi in association with Grimaldi. They are a watch seller in Milano, Italy. And you can still find it in their website if you want. There are some of them left because they started selling this two weeks ago. So it's a very, very limited edition. It's priced very good. And it not only comes with, a, with two nato straps two black nato straps one of leather one of rubber that i don't have here right now but 
uh, Grimaldi also gives you, and you can see here the Grimaldi logo, is going to give you a really beautiful tropic, real tropic, original tropic uh, strap to wear it with it uh, of this very nice green color. Beautiful color. I I cannot say anymore. You know, it's uh, you have you can have a look of the collection. I I really hope you enjoy this, guys. Um, the watches that I have, at least from Zodiac, I think they are a good brand, um, and they have good movements and good designs. And I think they have the perfect equilibrium between a fashion watch and a real watch, uh, and that's because of the colors and the way they managed to handle all these uh, shapes and colors that at the end gives you a lot of options and and also the limited runs that they have it's pretty interesting because at that point this is not a brand for everyone once they release their brands with a history because there's a, a big history behind zodiac uh, that's it all of their productions are limited even the ones that shouldn't be uh, or they don't have a specific limited number they pretty fast runoff and, and finish all of them. Uh, and the other ones, they are limited to around 200, 80 something in some cases. So I hope you like it and I hope you like uh, also what I'm sharing about my passion of Zodiac watches. So please, if you like this video, follow us. I, I will be doing a specific videos on some of these, specifically the Sherber and the Man uh, Limited Edition that I have not yet reviewed. So see you back soon. Please take care. Bye-bye.